In the second demo, we're going to add a DHT22 humidity and temperature sensor, and we'll use the LCD screen instead of the IDE monitor to show the readings. Refer back to lecture 8 if you need a reminder about how the DHT22 works. In this schematic, the only change compared to the schematic from demo 1 is the addition of the sensor. Connect 5 volts and ground, which are pins 1 and 4 on the sensor, to the uh, 5 volt and uh, ground columns on the breadboard, and the data pin number 2 on the sensor to the Arduino digital pin 7. Now the next uh, demo I want to show you is to uh, add a humidity temperature sensor, the DH22 that we have seen before. <clears throat> I want to add the sensor into my breadboard, take readings out of it, and then print the temperature and humidity readings onto the screen. So I'm going to disconnect, while I plug the sensor in. So there's a little bit of room left for the sensor. I'm going to plug it right at the end of my breadboard. And um, I'm going to provide power. That's on the first pin. Goes into the 5 volts positive column. There is fourth and of the sensor goes to ground. And finally, I'm going to connect pin number two. The signal pin is going to go to digital pin uh, seven on the Arduino. All right, let's plug it in and upload the demo two sketch. So here's the demo 2 sketch, I'll upload it, make sure it works, and then go through it together. All right, there you go. We've got, um, ah, seems like we have an issue with taking readings. Maybe my wiring is not correct. Let's see, remove it. Oh, yep, I had a mistake with my wiring because I couldn't see very well so I'm going to plug that at the right spot and move this reset wire to the right spot and then okay so now it works fine so humidity 65 percent takes a, a few seconds uh, for the readings to settle and temperature uh, 29 degrees let's have a look at the sketch so this sketch is a combination of the sketch we looked at uh, back in the lecture on the HT22 sensor uh, and a combination of the... So this sketch is a combination of the sketch we saw in demo 1 and the sketch in the lecture on the DHT sensors. So again we start by including the required libraries for liquid crystal and the DHT library. We set the uh, signal pin for the sensor to be digital pin 7 and the type of the sensor to be DHT22. And we initialize the sensor device. And we do the same thing for the LCD device as we saw in demo number 1. Then uh, we tell the LCD object uh, what the size of the screen is going to be print out a little message to make sure it works and start the sensor. Then in the loop function we continuously take readings from the sensor, humidity and temperature and as long as we have a valid reading we, oh sorry, if we don't have a valid reading so if the temperature or humidity reading are not uh, valid numbers then First we clear the LCD screen, then we go at the 
I've got a mistake here. Should make that zero. There you go. Not that again. So this was a little bug in my sketch that I just discovered, right? Okay. So then we set the cursor to be at uh, column zero of the first line. So line index zero. Then we pinned our message, can't get reading. Then we go to uh, the second line, so line index number one, we go to column zero and we print out from the HT. Otherwise, if we have proper H and T readings, we go ahead and print them onto the screen. So again, we go to the very beginning of the first line, line zero, and we print out a little message, hum, then after that, we print out the temperature and the little percentage, sorry, humidity and the little percentage symbol. We go to the next line, the beginning of the next line, we print out temperature, text, temperature, number, and uh, a little star indicating the degree symbol Celsius. And that's about it. It's very easy to uh, provide now readings from our sensors directly to our an LCD screen instead of the monitor that like we've been doing up to now. So with all that done, you could go ahead and try uh, an exercise to see what you've learned and extend your knowledge. Can you build a circuit that contains a server motor, an LCD screen, two potentiometers, one for the screen and one for the motor? And Exercise is this, as you turn the potentiometer and the servo changes position accordingly, write the current angle of the potentiometer on the screen. For example, if you have turned the knob to 60 degrees, a message on the screen should now show 60 degrees.